right, so this is on the uh, topic of lifestyle changes. So, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Um, so, yeah, well, today is day one of my strict paleo phase. I don't know if this is something I'm going to do permanently, but I'm going hard for a number of reasons. And the thing I've been thinking about, too, is that um, people have a tendency, I've noticed, to, like, kind of no matter what you say, they're always like, well, it's a lifestyle change. But that kind of depends on your lifestyle. And it kind of depends on what makes you tick. And for me varying my thing and being really intense about stuff is my lifestyle if anybody knows like how i am in my studio i'm always like kind of buying gear selling gear changing this like th that's my lifestyle so for me to like just kind of uh, cruise along and just eat normally and then and like not really make it any uh not really make any big thing about it and any changes that's not that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a lifestyle change to me that would be me adopting somebody else's lifestyle so, that was my biggest epiphany this morning. Um, to thine own self be true. And um, everybody's lifestyle change is a different style of change. And for me, it is constant varying. And it is about being intense. And it's not just, you know, I'm not the guy that just gave up sodas and, 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 and sweets and lost 50 pounds. I mean, I have had to, this has been a complete... Uh, commitment it's been it's been intense and and but that's how I'm about my studio that's kind of how I am about everything so it is a lifestyle change and it's my lifestyle and to thine own self be true and now I've got these kids packed up packed up dropping them off at Amber the babysitter and I'm going to CrossFit and I'm gonna work my butt off because that's kind of how Watch I am. Yeah, and then we got Scooter Page in today. Scooter Page! We're tracking vocals for his new record. And uh, Tuesday of next week will be my first really official day off in five weeks since I got back from Florida. So it'll be nice. I've had people here for, this is now the fifth week coming up of uh, people staying out here and yeah. It's going to be nice, man. I'm going to take a day off, and I'm just going to do whatever. Yay. Yay for whatever. Day three, paleo. Wow. I woke up this morning like, the weight. <laughs> the weight's flying off. More, 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 more. I'm going to be breaking 220. I, I could possibly break 220 by the end of the week at the rate I'm going. Um, no, I'm filming. Yes, in the bathroom. What this is this is my video studio. <laughs> Paleo baby. Getting the hang of it too, you know, learning. I I got some of the apps. Um I mean I was kind of eating like probably sixty, seventy percent. I was doing a few things. But I also watched this interview with Mark Sisson, the guy that wrote the Paleo Blueprint, and he does the 80-20 thing, which is kind of what my buddy Elthin was telling me, you know, he's like, I'm, I'm, he says, I'm 80% strict, and then he says, I, he says, I, I'll add in things here and there that I like that, that, that don't bother me, like, he says, I don't have a problem with a little bit of dairy or a little sugar and chocolate or whatever, he says, I drink a few beers here and there, I'm, I'm cool, um, he said, but the one thing that he said, I do not waver on at all, and he says, I don't advise anybody to waver on at all our grains. So no wheat, none of that stuff, no oats, no, none of that, no bread, no pot, or no, you know, no pizza, none of that stuff. So, but they all have obviously alternatives. You can do the cauliflower pizza, which kind of sucks, but anyway, day three paleo. Look at that. It's thinning out. I'm doing a movie. Say hey. It's H&H, &H, mm -hmm. Hannah and Holly. <laughs> right here, <at> eyebrow. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're, we're going to go. So t tell, tell everybody, Hannah, what are we doing with my hair? Chopping it off. Well, yeah. It won't be my short. It no, won't no, be no. Short. It won't, it, it, we're, we're going like kind of Keith Urban-esque. Like we're going to try it. We're going for this. Yeah. And it may still, you know, I still, my face is a little still fat, so it may still take a yeah, few months for it to is, work. Yeah, the thing is, is when it hits and it's going to almost create that jawline for you. It's going to create shadows. Right. That's what we want. Yeah. I'm going to have my own light show. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 
day four paleo. New hair today, huge change. This is big, this is big. Oh, people who know me will truly appreciate this. These are all these lousy black fat double XL t-shirts that I've been living in for the last 10 years from Target. They're That's it. That is it. So I've got one black t-shirt here that's kind of cool and I have a couple that I bought recently that will do for the time being. That's it. Day four paleo. Day five paleo. Say hey guys. Hey guys. Show everybody the toys you got. Hey. So what'd you get, Schmoops? Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. And we got this uh, big uh, husky, it's called, uh, it's like a big tote thing to kind of hold all our weights outside and everything will be all safe and locked away. Day five. And you know, I've been uh, watching this, uh, the Mark Sisson, it's the Primal Blueprint. The Primal Blueprint 21 Day uh, Challenge book on Audible, and it's really good. I've, I've listened through the, the main Primal Blueprint like 20 times, but this one is a little more concise and to the point, and, he's, and he goes into a couple things that I didn't know and about how the body, you know, burns sugar when you're eating carbs and, and how it transforms. I don't know. It's just a really, really interesting book anybody that's looking to get into any of this kind of stuff uh, I suggest it probably the most of any of them because it's really like right to the point it tells you exactly what to eat how it works and doesn't go into deep into the science the 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 main the big book goes a little more so yeah it's uh, the primal blueprint 21 day challenge and I have a sitter coming and I'm going to cross good things are happening look at me with my hair I love it I love it, man. I absolutely love it. See, they're wearing different suits. Yeah. Mm, I just got home from CrossFit. Oh, man, it's day five paleo. CrossFit was, was intense. My arms are spaghetti. It was like a 400 meter run, then your warm up, and then, uh, uh, like 15 minutes of uh, power cleans or clean and jerk. I can't even remember what it's called. Power jerks, clean and jerk. From the ground uh, to up to the shoulder and then up with a squat down. I think it's called a jerk press. Something like that. Did that for about 15 minutes. Went up to your personal best. I got to ring the bell. I went 65 pounds, which I could probably do more, but I'm just kind of going easy right now. I did a 45-pound bar with 10 on each side. Then we did um, <clears throat> 12 minutes max calories, assault bike, and then 12 minutes max uh, meters on the rowing machine. Yeah. And I've been eating so little, man, just like kind of like nuts and bananas and little this and that and some roast beef. And I went and finally I've been craving a rotisserie chicken <laughs> and I went and got one and I ate like two thirds of it. It's like the first time I've eaten like that much in probably five days. But I feel good, man. I was like, oh, I've been just so hungry. And I've been, I'm telling you that the, 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 get the audible book, the Mark Sisson Primal Blueprint 21 Day is Challenge. I don't know what it's called, but it's 21 day, whatever. It's it's like a shortened version of his regular Primal Blueprint. It's really good. And the gym is, is in full effect here. So I've got my, my uh, Concept 2 rower. I've got my uh, battle, my battle rope, which is really cool. I got a BOSU ball and I've got like a yoga mat and I've got a couple of other mats. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere here. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Yeah, I've got like a regular like thick floor mat for, uh, for f and then I've got the, the, the 24 square feet that you click, click together, which I'm going to do out here. And I have the, uh, also the, uh, I got the Echo Bar by Rogue Fitness. How you doing, Hemi? Look at it. It's getting, what is that thing up there? What is that? What's that orange ball, that yellow ball up there? So I fixed the grill. 
that's the good part about like working out and eating right and getting healthy and juicing and all this stuff. You actually do stuff. I fixed the grill. What a little chain for it. And I bought this. I don't know what I, oh, look at that. I got my key with me. Let's see if I can do this. Drum roll, please. And there it is. So it's got, you know, some, some of my weights, a jump rope. It's all under there is um, dumbbells, some kettlebells, my collars, and my 14 pound medicine ball because I'm going to be doing wall balls over there. And that's it. So, this is going to be my little platform. So, I'm going to be starting to do some CrossFit here on my own, some exercising. And then I go to CrossFit 615. And then I go to Hot Box, which I'm doing in the morning, which is heated cardio kickboxing. All right, kids, we're doing a, we're doing our own wad here. So I uh, got uh, got a couple mats out. So we're gonna do our wad for today. It's 400 meters on the row. 12 Bosu crunches. 12 push-ups here on this guy. We're gonna do uh, 20 minutes AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm you know I, I I'm I've got two playlists that I put together today. I've got my Michael Jackson stuff, my Off the Wall and Thriller, because I've been obsessed with Michael Jackson. And I've got my 90s hip hop industrial metal, which I love working out to, the whole like Rob Zombie, uh, you know, kind of Linkin Park, uh, I don't know, Marilyn Manson kind of stuff. A little Pantera in there. Here we go, man. See you all on the other side. All right, so. These are all shirts that I, some of them I used to wear years ago. They're all uh, mostly just XL or larges. So they've been folded up. I mean, like the, I mean, they're from companies, telephone and stuff. And there's a bunch of, there's actually some workout stuff or even amps. I mean, there's, a, there's some cool stuff. Um, so I just took those all out of the box and I'm going to wash them all. And let's try them all on tonight. Try to see who fits, who almost fits, who will fit in the summertime. Washing those, and here's another bag of stuff going to Goodwill. Sneakers and socks and vests and shirts and man, it's just it's just all over, man. I've, this has been my life dream, guys. This has been my dream forever to get healthy and lose weight and I'm almost out of the 220s and that is it man and I love having short hair I think the, I think the, everything's perfect I think the back maybe needs to be about an inch longer and then that's it and uh, I'm so stoked uh, it was, it's great working out without all that hair anyway man that's it it's huge changes I'm um, really getting excited about Revolution Healthy. I'm um, going to start prepping now. Um, Today's going to be day one of starting to study for the Ace Fitness personal uh, trainer exam. Probably going to take it, you know, early fall. So I will be ready to start training people and coaching people. And, uh, you know, probably like realistically, probably getting close to winter time. Still got a, a lot of wood to chop on my end, but good things are happening. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys. Say hey, Hemi. I don't know if you can see my dogs right here. Oh my god. Fifty four, fifty four pounds down, but I am beat, man. I did Hotbox and CrossFit today. I think that's a first. But I did it, man. I came home. I had some hard-boiled eggs with Himalayan pink rock salt. <laughs> I don't know. I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy. I am crazy. But it's happening, man. And I went through my box of all my small clothes and everything is in the washer and I'm gonna wash it all and try some stuff on tonight and see if anything's uh, able to be used now and kind of put a put a 
figure out what's going to be good in two months and then what's going to be good in four months or whatever. That's it. This is an amazing experience. My skin, I don't know, if you, man, my skin looks like, it feels like it looks 10 years younger in a week of no grains. Grains of the devil. Standard American diet stands for sad. There it is, man. That's I think that's the strength training classes that they do here at uh, at Hotbox. They're doing walking lunges. Not my favorite. Yeah. So I'm here at Hotbox, man. The end of a, a big week of eating paleo and. Uh, doing lots and lots of working out. I worked out at home. I did CrossFit at 6.15. I did a hot box all week long. Pretty tired. I think this is gonna be it until Monday. No more working out. And uh, I'm gonna eat, eat bigger today. I'm feeling a little, little, little drain the end of the week. And my buddy Beth Ogden's gonna be here. Beth Ogden's gonna be doing hot box.